Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 1st of April. And no, this is not an April Fool's. We are going to look at two potential trades a day. One long, one short, 1v1. So we're going to uh, hedge uh, for potential long bullish market and a short bearish market here. Uh, two good potential trades on the 60 minute time frame. So these are swing trades. We're going to have to look to uh, get out of these or in and out of these before the end of the week. Hence the Monday thing here. I don't tend to do anything on a six minute time frame after a Tuesday. So uh, this is the first time I've tried this on a Monday on my stock signals video. I do this in my swing trading um, membership all the time. Uh, but let's do this on the stock signals video. So first up is RSG and this is the potential long. So we've got an overall bullish trend denoted by our multiple time frame dot cloud down here. Uh, this is part of our uh, black box breakout indicator suite for the Think or Swim platform. I'm going to be using that and combining our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim platform to produce both of these trade setups. So very, very flat previous to this look um, with all these ABC corrections, very corrected, going nowhere. And then we've had the big push up here on the six minute time frame with this high at 81.20 on the wave three. Uh, then our wave four pullback was over three days last week, found good support in our amber zone. So again, this is our Elliott wave indicator suite now for the Think or Swim platform. And we have got that wave four pullback against the main bullish trend and it's found support in our amber zone. That gives it an 80% probability if that support holds, we're going to go on and make a new wave five high into automated target zones around about 81.60 there. Really good risk reward setting up on this potential trade. Now, the next thing is we look at the, the, the performance of that wave four. The first is our Elliott wave oscillator that has to pull back between 19 and 140% on the wave four. And it has done that right now. Also, we look at the performance of the wave four on our false breakout stochastic. Uh, we've got the yellow bar up there denoting a really strong bullish trend. We've pulled back against there. We've crossed over the oversold zone and now we're looking to head back up again. So all in all, as far as the Elliott Wave indicator suite is concerned, everything looks really, really good. We've got our EMA cloud here. This is part of our black box breakout indicator. So we're combining both here. So not just have we got support at our linear um, probability pullback zones here, our FIB zones, We've got this EMA cloud as well converging at the same point to form support. So really, really strong looking support level there. Not only that, in the, in the last two hours of Friday's session, we've got this really good increased volume denoted by the green candles here. Now, these are up candles with higher volume. Gray candles, as you see just before the wave three there, that's an up candle, but with lower volume. So the last two hours, we've got this accumulation in volume going into, into the close there. We actually got a black box breakout indicator signal after the, um, the penultimate hour there at 80.45. So we've, we've got some good bullish momentum there. So I've gone quite aggressive with my entry uh, for Monday. And I've gone for an 80.51, which is outside our 6.4 moving average high, which is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite part of our entry strategy here. Uh, the stop loss is 79.99 below the way for below the whole $80 mark. That still gives us a great risk reward of one to two into the middle of our automated target zones there about 81.55. Uh, really, really good looking risk reward, good looking potential trade. The only thing that could work against us here is if it gaps up too much on Monday. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, you know, in reality, if it gaps up any more than 80.63, we're going to run out of risk to reward and we may have to for it to come back down and test this sort of zone here. Uh, but let's see how those uh, pre-market session goes uh, and see if we can get a good entry on RSG. OK, so the second one I'm going to look at is a potential short and this is ITUB. Again, 60 minute time frame, but this time we are looking for a potential short. So the overall trend on our multiple time frame dot cloud down here, you can see our key time frame down at the bottom of these dots is red. So this is the daily time frame. So we're below this cloud, our EMA cloud, on not just the daily, 
but the four hour, the three hour, we're in the cloud on the uh, two hour, just above it on this one hour here. So we've had a decent wave for pullback against a really strong bearish in today trend here. Our Elliott wave uh, as it has automatically counted the Elliott waves here from this ABC correction. We've got a one, a two, a three, and it's the wave for pullback that we're really interested in right now. So again, just in reverse, if you like, from the previous trade we just talked about on RSG, we have the wave four pulled back again just at the top there just inside the amber zone but look at look left as well this is a really strong resistance level if that can hold and move back down we've got a good looking short here so again we look at the performance of that wave four pullback 535 it's pulled back between 90 and 140 percent here it's also just started to crown as well which is encouraging stochastic got the false breakout bar at the bottom there strong bearish momentum denoted by that then we've pulled back up into the overbought zone here it's crossed over it's looking to turn back down again it has to do that uh, in the first couple of hours i think of monday's session to really go so hence i've gone for really um conservative entry strategy here i do think that bullish momentum from friday could continue uh, at the moment though we're getting those one day wonders we're not getting that follow days uh, those follow through days if you like hence why i'm going long and short on potential trades but i'm going more conservative on the short entries that i've got on my swing trading membership here so my entry is actually below this pivot point here to the left of all of this range for three days so 854 is my entry, which is way outside the 6-4 moving average low here, part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. So I could be more aggressive at 866, 867, but I just want to make sure that at the beginning of the session there, we're not uh, just going to blip down and then continue that. Uh, bullish momentum from Friday so got very ultra conservative here but that still gives us a risk reward of 1 to 1.6 into our automated target zone down here around about eight dollars so it's still I've got a decent looking trade there if we risk a thousand we could win 1600 here so you know it's not a bad looking trade stop loss at 888 and again we're playing both sides of the fence here we're looking for longs and shorts on the six minute time frame on a Monday and a Tuesday uh, to swing them over and be out before the end of the week. Uh, after after uh, Friday's really strong bullish momentum in the markets, we would see, we'd like to see that continue, but we have to hedge in case it doesn't because recent uh, history tells us that uh, we don't get those follow through days. So we've got to be ready both sides. And this is just one pairing that I'm looking at in my swing trading membership for this week. But I thought I'd share that with you on uh, this free daily video. So I took short RSG for the long. Um, all the uh, information there, look back through the video, you'll get the entries, the stop losses and the target zone. So have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.